So this was another one. Deadpool and Wolverine is the second MCU movie oh. that says the F word. Wow. Uh, this is actually true. Chris, uh, I want to say Pratt, of the many Chris's in the MCU, he said the F word in Guardians 3, or I think Guardians 3? Yes, yes. Thank you. Is this the Green Lantern comments? <laughs> 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 With the release of this film just around the corner, fans are very, very excited, including myself, to see just what this film has in store and what hints there are for the future of Marvel and the mutant franchise. Am I in a movie that I've done in the last five years? No. Am I um, Isla Fisher? No. I just thought to go big old <laughs> Australian swing there. I like that. Um, no. I, uh, uh, am I a uh, uh, female co-star? Yes. Okay. Am I Sandra Bullock? No. No? Oh, damn. Uh, Betty White. No. Today we wanted to focus on the comedic side of things and what Kevin Feige has said about what this film means for the future of Marvel and answering the question of whether or not Hugh would return. I think we're all going the other way. Like, I think if we're ever lucky enough to do another Deadpool Wolverine movie, we're going straight Knight Rider black leather. Give the people what they want. Give, Give them the what they want. What they don't know they don't want at all. <laughs> <laughs> that is the name of the game. Uh, you looked like that's the best one, acting maybe I've two ever years done. younger there. That was really hard <laughs> to see. That was Thanks, man. <laughs> We need to get back to therapy. Yeah. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. How old was Hugh Jackman when he first made history playing Wolverine for the first time? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around till the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Oh, whenever he was talking about me, it just, uh. I just, no, 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 I'm not talking about me. Just your acting in that time. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, stapling, the opening. Stapling your face to my face is that, your favorite, right? I mean, it was transcend, transcendent. Powerful. Powerful. You made sense. And this one. You know how hard it is to take the fucking Deadpool mask off with that underneath? Yeah. At the time of his announcement that Hugh Jackman was making a return, fans were more than shocked. Not only how it would work considering his character technically died, but that Hugh agreed to return after he said for sure he was done. OMG, Emma Corrin is in the new Deadpool? Question mark? That's a major contrast to their normal roles. I wonder what drew them to it. Money. No, I'm joking. Um, I think probably because it is a major contrast to my normal roles and I always wanted to play a villain. And then Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. While he was the one to contact Kevin Feige and ask for a place in the MCU, Kevin gladly obliged, but fans are wondering even more so if this is his final bow as a character or could he come back just one last time? What is Ryan's favorite Taylor Swift song? He sang it to me on the very last day of the shoot. <laughs> right? It's not the one that starts wow. with gorgeous. No. You sang that to me in my face. I hung it. <laughs> the answer is? I don't even know if that's a title. Uh. It's definitely, let's get through this, Kevin said. But as we sit here talking and the movie comes out in a week and the movie's been finished for a couple of weeks, there's certainly been a lot of discussions of that was fun, what should we do next? Guess what I do, leg day. Because <laughs> I, I care. Stop it. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, do leg day. You've got legs like quails. Uh, regular facials. <laughs> uh, you know, I've got 47, right? I'm getting a, yeah. I can't afford a Brazilian butt lift, but I'm getting a Croatian one, and I'm here that they're fabulous. What's the difference between Croatian and Brazilian? Uh, you know, sterile, sterile tools, okay. mostly. Uh, okay. And aside from all the interviews, Ryan Reynolds himself had come out with some interesting commercials promoting the film a while back. Hey there, welcome back to the... Deadpool and Honey Badger podcast. Boy, the soundtrack for Deadpool and Wolverine is a real banger, am I right? Right on brand. He is awful at podcasting, but that's okay. Because today we're here to listen. That's right. I've prepared a super cut of all of your grunting from the film. Oh, God. There was a commercial regarding Spotify and Jack in the Box. Bringing back my spicy chicken strips was a great idea. This wasn't this good. This wasn't a good, no. no, no. no. It should no, be better. It should be better. Yeah, anything would be better. Welcome to Jack in the Box. And even The Bachelorette. All right, stay off camera. I'll handle this. <sighs> hey, Nation. Deadpool here again to tell you that our movie has everything you love. We really zoom into complex relationship dynamics. Uh, there's ample amounts of cheeky humor. And in the end, well, I I'm not going to lie, it was quite a payday for us. Along the way, though, they said time and time again that they both had a blast on set coming together and hanging out and putting all of this together. Impeccably quaffed 
Sean. Really <laughs> I saw you on Fallon, man. I was, like, I was like, I was, I was rooting for you. Yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just like Ugg boots and I'm like, and nothing else. You're like, buddy, yeah. you got to wear something other than the Ugg boots. Wow. Uh, really? Even my own wife like, would not want the sight of yeah. that. And then the full body Ugg boot? Like, where do you find that? <laughs> But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Oh, Christ. I don't even know if I'll do it. This is before meat. Like, even <laughs> chicken became widely affordable for the masses, and people had to eat this. No one ever was like, eels! eels. There's fucking bones in it. You're trying to kill me, man. I've renounced my citizenship. As of right now, critics are getting early access to the film, and while I am doing my best to avoid spoilers before I see the film very soon, there's a lot of praise in the story combining these storylines with the Deadpool and Wolverine characters. Mm. Am I in a uh, comedy? Uh, well, no. Mm. Am I in a comic no. book movie? Yes. Really? Yes. Am I, uh, in a Deadpool series? No. No? Am I Jessica Biel? No. Am I in a comic book movie, but not in a... Help me! More so, Kevin Feige recently opened up about the timeline for when the X-Men characters will start appearing more frequently in Marvel films. We weren't even allowed to make moving pictures for a year. We were in penalty box after but that But just one. think about this, if Green Lantern had been a huge hit and embraced by the world, it may never have given birth to Deadpool. I have zero regrets about it. So one quick question, um, does that mean no Green Lantern in Deadpool and Wolverine? No, we love ourselves. <laughs> uh, why would I do that? Why would I do that to Hugh and Sean? I, True. I love them. Now that we have characters from the X-Men world, the mutants, we hadn't had access to before, Feige said, adding further that every film after Deadpool and Wolverine but will be the mutant era coming into the MCU. Kid's name is Logan, just so you know. Oh. And he goes, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah. That's the love. That's the love you knew in this business. I, it's the best. It, it looks so good. It feels so good, except when you're urinating. It does not feel good. <laughs> It must it's be hard like, to get out of that. It's like a labyrinth getting there. It's, it's, yeah, it's very I mean, hard. Yeah. He even added, I rarely speak in absolutes like that, right? But the truth is, you know, we're going to tell a story in these Avengers movies, and there won't be room for 100,000 characters in it. So choices will have to be made. That's for sure. But that doesn't mean you won't ever see anybody ever again. How many times has Hugh hosted the Tonys? Oh, oh. good one. Ready? Ready? Wait. Ah! Four Come points on. for being closer? Yeah. Points for being closer? That's pretty oh good. my yes. god, you Wait. slut. <laughs> Four fucking the, times? The money's enormous. Right. It's, huge. it's crazy. Feige also mentioned that their current plans for the MCU include exploring the X-Men and Fantastic Four characters, which might give an opportunity for both the stars to return. Blake Lively could do so oh. much better than wow. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Uh, actually, kind of, I mean, Jesus, right? I mean, yeah, I could do better. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm staying right where I am because as a husband, no better. But as someone, as a co-parent, she could do way better. Yeah, I think so too. I think so. Deadpool and Wolverine is not the first time the two characters have faced each other on film, but it is definitely better than the first time they did. They're here. Talk about an enduring legacy as well. My kids are also here. Uh, my three daughters are here to uh, watch the film. They're nine, seven, and four. I'm probably going to go to jail or something afterwards. But um, my nine-year-old's seen it already, and she loved it. Um, but they're also obsessed with InSync as well, so this is kind of special. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Hugh Jackman was 32 when he first starred in the 2000 live-action Wolverine film. Just <laughs> what's in here. Whatever's waiting for you on the other side is gonna be bad. But don't worry, it's only forever. Was that... Was that insane capital loss almost buried the studio Universal's RIPD? Yes! <laughs> wow! <laughs> but we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite? And what is your biggest guess on what will come out of this film? Pull your heads out of your asses for five seconds. Do I need to get two on your ears? Do it, yeah. let's go. Oh God, I want it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I never went to college. What are you? Oh, I cheat at Wordle. What is this? What is this witchcraft? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below.
Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Okay, yeah, your please help me. If she could have her way, she'd have like 12 children. She would have 12 children. Mm -hmm. My God, Blake, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I want to say lively or lively, liberally mm -hmm. lively. Uh, yes, lively. yes, yes. Well God, done. Oh, of course, yes. unforgettable. <laughs> yes, okay. Green Lantern. I was in Green Lantern. Yes, remember that. I spent I hundreds of thousands of dollars to never remember that.